Hello, Lindsay. Hello, Alex. Nice to see hey, you today. Hey. Nice to see you as well. You know, it's nice to see some fresh new faces on screen in a movie. <laughs> I couldn't help but notice when I was watching this movie, it was in the category where it says uh, representation matters. And I want to start with Lindsay and then we'll move to Alex. How do you feel about that in this day and age? Do you feel like we're finally getting movies that represent the world as a whole? Yeah, you know, I think we're finally slowly getting over to that. And, you know, this project for me was such an eye opener of like, you know, we've never had the Hawaiian culture on the big screen ever, you know? So when this script landed in my hands and I was reading it, it, there was this feeling inside of me that I was so excited that it was like, this is going to be on Netflix for the world to see. And I get to be that character that teaches, you know, our, our culture, it's, it's small, but it's beautiful. And it's, as something that I feel like if the world learned about it, they would be interested to learn more about it. Everyone has kind of the surface level of Hawaii, you know, with the grass skirts and such like that, but there's such a deeper meaning to it. And I feel like a movie like this opens the door, you know, that we get to start exploring that deeper. And it's so nice that it's, you know, my face that gets to be the opening door that represents Hawaii for now. And I can't wait to see the next projects that start to explore the Hawaiian culture and other cultures. You know, it's such a beautiful thing. I love seeing other cultures and what's important to them, you know, because we don't really get to see that, as you say, on the screen. So if this is the turning point that it's starting to happen, I'm so glad that we might be leading the march. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, uh, we're definitely in the era of representation. And I think that it's a, it's a perfect time um, for not just the Hawaiian culture, but it often is, you know, joined in with the Polynesian culture in general. And uh, when, when most people think of Polynesian culture, they think of, you know, football players or, or, <laughs> or athletes or just huge people uh, without knowing that we've been represented um, softly in the entertainment business for a while, whether it be The Rock or Cliff Curtis or Taika Waititi or Jason Momoa. And now I think thanks to trailblazers like those who have started the, the, uh, the path of, of Polynesian representation, uh, we can now start expanding on what we want to really share with people. So it's not just like, hey, we're here. We already did that. Now we get to say, now that we're here, let us show you that um, specifically in this case, Hawaiian culture isn't just about luau's and 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 what you see with love on you know uh, Adam Sandler movies or <laughs> any of that, which is amazing. But it's just so much deeper than that. Absolutely, I kind of wanted to go off that. You know, one of the things that I loved about the movie is that you can tell it was shot on location, which I think mm. makes a big difference when you tell this type of story. Um, can each of you maybe share a little bit of a story um, about what it was like to actually shoot on location and what was your favorite scene to shoot? Yeah, I mean, I, shooting on location made, I mean, as an actor, it makes life so easy. There was no imagination involved. We were there. I mean, in Thailand, I think, which is my personal fave, we were in real caves. I mean, massive caves with bats flying over us. I mean, where, as you know, we've talked about before, they are safety you know because there's snakes in there and there's bats and there's falling pieces so it was so crazy to be in that environment but the fear came natural you know hana as strong as she is there's a lot of fear under the surface for her so it didn't take much acting when we're in these beautiful locations but beautiful but scary i mean we had snake wranglers on set that were like we caught a cobra yesterday and i'm like that's fine it's okay so it was such a crazy experience to know that you know what this is going to be shown on the big screen. And I'm like, you guys couldn't tell the real sets from the fake sets because everything was just so beautiful. And I mean, watching the movie, I, I'd, I'd like to see who can actually tell. <laughs> I think building on top of that, just as much as the scary scenes or the scarier locations made it easier to be scared, it's hard to be in Hawaii. At, you know, we're filming these end credit scenes where we're eating uh, malasadas at Leonard's or we're, you know, we're dancing around, you know, on the beach. It's hard not to have that natural happiness come out of you and, and, and share that big smile on your face. In fact, it was quite hard in the beginning of the movie. I had to pretend I didn't want to be there, that I'd rather be in New York City than be in Hawaii. And, uh, and, and that to me was probably the hardest part of acting because the rest of the time we're laughing. We're getting paid to be in one of the most beautiful places on earth. 
Well, thank you very much. Uh, loved your answers. Seriously, they were so really well thought out and like just to the point too. Uh, thank you so very much. Thank um, you. I, I hope this movie does open doors for more people and we get to see more stories like this. Thank you. Oh, thank, uh, thank you so you, much. Scott. Have a great day. Bye.